Dang it. Just felt it. It's on the back. Dang it. That's what's... It's right there. It's eating into the polycap. Chest had blue, yellow, and red molded. Wow. I did not realize that. Mm, thank you. For the link. Loading. Loading. Wow, no way. That's something special. I feel like I need that. That was in 1990. Even the, the, the headpiece. Wow. Face. That's such a shame about this mold seam. I need to build this piece up. I need to add some material back to it. Maybe if I just cover the whole thing with clear, another couple coats of clear it'll start to smooth out any of the imperfections because unfortunately like I said, it's it's been eaten away a little bit at the polycap I'm just gonna leave that off for right now come back to it other hgs went back to basic techniques yeah but more more parts more parts and more color separation than the originals and most importantly, no glue. HGUC started in 99. So to wrap up the tech, mostly stayed away from multi-injection. Yep. M wait, mostly or entirely stayed away? I didn't know HG ever did any of that. down some of these some of these inner edges just a little bit make sure they don't visually stand out I'm 
Maybe some, maybe some exceptions. Mm. Perhaps. Yeah. You see, seed freedom. Unfortunately, website is down. Show times past the current day have to be done on site. Ah. I hope you get good luck with that, so you can see it while it's still around. Also, hope there will be good availability by any means uh, online at some point. Really, all that way. Gotcha. Yeah, that's that's pretty all right. Silver bullet and the regular release. Robot wizard knows that. I'm gonna guess. I think it's actually let's say that one recently. I'm gonna guess binder style and. Tiny difference in color. Head and sh the head and shoulder parts. Shoulder parts. Huh. This is looking so much better. Not all these, all these hot spots, these bright spots, and reduced down. Really, really made a big difference for me, for what I want to see. Tux Bobble, welcome, welcome. Thank you, Aslam. Let's put a price tag for plus city farm down 35%. One copy tucked sideways, so the only set number could be seen. <laughs> right on. That's that's good, because that one should not have been bought at its original price. I'm glad you're able to get one at a much more reasonable price. It's its retail is silly. Maybe not as bad as a grocery store. Okay, so there's the color difference. Huh, quite a, quite a difference to the head. Subtle differences to the shoulders. They did redo the cannon binder things, huh? One of them is one of them is a panel line, so it's the one on the left is panel line, so it's gotta be careful. No, those are the same. It's just the panel panel lining that's making them look different. 
subtle difference to the shoulder. The head is just very distinct. Interesting. Favorite shoes. I, I unfortunately have to stay away from favorites questions on stream because it turns the entire stream into a favorites questions generating machine. But uh, I I do rather fancy double O still. Each time I go back and watch rewatch shows, I feel less like I can I can pick one single one, but an, an easy one to fall back to at any time is double O. I feel like it stands the test of time and second second time watching it all the way through still feels fresh and good. Still feels like a good show. Hey Spirit, thank you. Thank you for the alert. Hope you're doing well. Hope the push is going well. I've not been around a lot lately because that lot of stuff going on. Need to take care of self and family. Hope you're doing well. Oh yeah, no worries. No no harm done with the favorites question. I just have to explain. No harm done. Thank you for the, wait, thank, yes, thank you for the shout out to Spirit Music too. Anybody know what this is called or what this would be called? What I'm doing right now, adding darkness to edges, not the, not shading, but the actual on the chine, on the hard, sharp surface itself. Is there a, cause it's not highlighting cause I'm going, I'm going dark. What is there a word for it? Or a phrase. It looks so much better having done that. Low lighting. Called the Borderlands effect. Not going that far. <laughs> the Borderlands effect is more like what people do who are going for the anime style 2D paint. You go over the top with thick, thick black edges everywhere. I mean, it's, it's all weather. I was just wondering if there's a name specifically for adding dark lines to the high points. Never seen funnel test time. Whoa. That's, that's an oldie. Yeah. Uh, 
things look so different with no details. No post-production work. Another one, you need. Another one. All I'm doing is just going around looking for bright spots. Trying to eliminate them, looking for edges where I know there's a hard chine and making sure that there's some definition. Right on. Good night. Thank you for stopping by once again. Sleep well. Looking Gundam, did you just charger yourself? Ah. It's a whole lot of little work, but eventually when I'm able to stop and I just step back, I can really just put this on temporarily. I really see the progress. And it feels good. Ah. Yeah, there's a lot there's a lot more weight now. I gotta see if I can find a technique or a yeah, just technique in general, which includes the product used to do the same thing as the real touch markers do but without the problem hopefully it's possible to find something that doesn't have the problem of the edges staying bright jai hello welcome if you if you never had this you should start with entry grade there are a number of entry grade, what, what are called entry grade Gundams out there. I'm not sure if I can, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. I'm not sure if this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try it. Not that one. I think this one. I think, yeah, this is the camera. Let's see if I can reach over here behind me. Yes, those. Sorry, it's so dark in there, but each one of those down there is, is in the entry grade line, or EG. If you look for Gundam and entry grade, you will find what you need to start with. There's no tools required, no paint required. They are all uh, snap builds. 
with what are called touch gates. So Gundams typically come like this. Parts come like this. And then you cut the pieces off and then you push them together. With the entry grades in particular, you don't even need to cut them. You just push them off and then you push them together. That's it. And then you get great success. They come pre-colored and everything. It's a starting point. If you type exclamation Amazon, there's a, um, at least a couple of EGs in the, in the low end category there, but you can find them a bunch of places. Target even sells some of them now. Target stores. And Super RPG Friends, thank you for the raid. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Visor, how's it going? What are you working on today, Super RPG Friends? I don't think, I don't think I saw you live. Yeah, I definitely need to tighten this up because this has gotten super loose. That's okay, we'll do. No, no worries, no worries. It's all good. We're very, very, very extremely newcomer friendly here because most of most of what I do is Lego. I'm a I'm a Lego guy on full time on on YouTube, but it's mostly Mondays and sometimes Sundays. I do a little bit of robotic stuff, mech type stuff. Been doing that off and on for a few years now. But start. I started with one of those. I started with one of those entry grades. When I grow up, I want to be a Gundam. And then I took, went through the steps. I've done model stuff before, but with Gundam, with approaching it as a new hobby to me, I started from started from the bottom. And the bottom is a is a glorious place with with this product line. Honestly, they do some they do some really good stuff. Super RPG friends, where are you up to? Thank you for stopping in. Thank you for the raid. I am doing bots today. Bots and mechs and things. I did some transformers. Did some prep work on a Zoid. Big Zoid kit. And to close things out, doing some further work on the second, uh, call it the third detailing step for this. Eighth MS team hero unit. Cheap master grade, 36 bucks. Started on Zeta. Never seen it, super loving it. Heck yeah, working on an R RV Leo, nice. I don't think Lego has ever made an RV that's bad. One of those. I've never been. I've never been an RV person, but I think I like every single Lego model. There's just something right about them. I appreciate that. Thank you. I'm. I'm satisfied with how this turned out. I need. I need to keep learning. I need to definitely try a bunch of different techniques. Whoa, that's not what I meant to do. Sorry. This. I need to try a bunch of different types of materials. I need to get into at least giving the enamel and oil-based stuff a shot just to have the experience. But this is my first time doing a full weathering job ever. Oh, that's what I wanted to try. I wanted to try getting a little bit of, of uh, chalk uh, up high. A little bit of sunburn just want to see what that would do what that would do and this is this is getting there you know this is nearing final stages the previous stage looked like this all gloss and then just got the use the water-based marker to get some 
some edge shading and dirt on there. Yeah, so this one's ready to be top coated with the clear matte. And then I can come back and do these, get any, actually I should see, is there any place that I want to put, I'll, I'll probably put like a gash in this, but otherwise, yeah, it's multiple gashes. Should I do a bullet hole? Nah. It's a bunch of stuff that people do all the time that I, I don't, I don't want to fall into the cliches. Nothing, nothing wrong with any of them. I just, I just don't want to start that way. I might add just a little bit of rust on one of these bolts. Otherwise, this step next. But then I gotta, gotta work on the gun too. Yeah, the the box. The box will get some work on it, but I don't care to have the box on this. Like it's not gonna be carrying the box around with it. This thing, yes. The adapter, yes. This, this will probably just be used for practice, honestly, and it will it'll be kept separate. I'll use it as a as a diorama piece or something, not necessarily to go with this, not necessarily to go with the mech. The SMG here is going to be. Fairly easy. I think. But yeah, I'm coming. I'm getting, I'm getting pretty close to the ending stanza of this. Finally. I love the cooler. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a funny concept. It works in universe, but ultimately when you end up with just a box, just a big rectangular box on your model, it's weird. <laughs> what was I just going to do? Oh, right. I wanted to try the... Sorry, just infinite, infinite noise in the background right now. So I'm having to do a ton of uh, muting. Welcome back, Lurking Gundam. I'm gonna see how much of this will will stay on. <laughs> That's pretty good. It's doesn't doesn't stick all that well. Maybe if I go. Maybe if I get more brave with the color, go straight to white, maybe. Yeah, it's just, it's not, I mean, there's, there's something there. It's not enough. I feel like I'd rather not go white, but got a couple options here. I 
Let's see what it does. Yes. It's been. You speak fact. Right, that actually might have enough contrast in it. I might actually have more than I need. I'm gonna try the exact same spot. Since the the gray just didn't do enough. Ah, uh, sorry, sorry. You know, uh, those only work for subscribers. Well, I did did get something in there. Now the the only question is, do I do I actually want to highlight in there, or do I want to show panels that have lost some, like lost some of their coat, lost some of their paint? I feel like I need to do this. Yeah, I don't I don't know exactly what I'm doing, but there is something useful there to me. Smudging tools, what am I doing?
this. Take a lot of patience, which you don't have. You rush through and mess it up. Ah. I mean, obviously you don't need to do any of this, any of the things that I'm doing here. But the, the base build is important to, to try to get, try to get decent. Otherwise, you know, it just doesn't hold itself together. Mary, take care. Thanks for stopping in. Oh my gosh, it actually, <laughs> it's like, it's like a clear coat peeling kind of look. I had I had the thought in my in my mind of what it would look like, and I didn't know why I wanted to do it. And I just realized, oh yeah, it's clear coat paint peel. Which would this actually have clear coat on it in in real life? Probably not. But it was it was something that I wanted to to try, and so I did. Meh. Hey Pete, thanks for stopping by. Hope we're doing well. This is a little bit too bright. Don't, don't mind getting some color in there, but it's a little too light. Actually, you know what? Looking at it now, it's not bad. I also should get a little bit of green on some of these panels. Uh, yeah. That's pretty good. 20 year old beater, send some reference pics. <laughs> Rub most of that out. Quite smooth enough. Concept is there though. I really think the slightly darker green would actually work more confidently. I don't know if I can pronounce that that name. I don't know if it's intended to be pronounced as a name, but Kaj? Can I call you Ka Kaj or Kai? Which is it? Hello. <laughs> and let me know if that is intended to be pronounced as a name or if it's random. Yeah, the darker green is definitely what I what I needed here. Yes, yes. Yes.
and get more brave with it. Good. Yep, the darker green is what I needed the whole time. And all that's going to get smoothed down significantly once I, once I put the next level of top coat over this. I'm going to lose some of this detail, so I'm trying to push myself to go farther than I normally would, make it more contrasty than I normally would. should have a lighter bit. Got to be careful not to take it in the Warhammer direction. <laughs> Do it. Mm -mm. Not gonna do it. Read my lips. Not gonna do it. Just the little, 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 little subtle bits. Help, help stuff to look less plastic. Less manufactured. This could use like a Can I just do it with the green? I think I maybe I can just do it with the green right there. Yeah, that's fine. Just to get the definition. Just something. It's gonna look a little bit more uh Just separated. That's a uh... Busy night. Oh, I see. I see an interesting pattern there. I'm just kind of lean into it because why not? Yeah, it's it's just so much better to have the the body color body color areas not be completely consistent. Again, once this gets a top coat, some of that brightness is going to be reduced. So I do need to be more aggressive than I want to be. And usually very, very conservative with adding color and contrast. I need to do better than that.
Oh, thank you for hanging out as long as you did, Gina. I didn't realize you're still here. Hope you've enjoyed the lurk. Have a good night. Green down the edge right here, just a little bit in the middle of it. No, it looks like it needs to be it needs to be to the front and then the back edge will get darkness. Green to the front. Black behind it. Yeah, better. It's more, way more visible. Okay, I am feeling pretty darn good with this, honestly. Yes. Yes. Leaning into the dark. Some dark underneath here as well. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> Edge. All right. All right. Cool. Good, good. Okay, is there anything else like with these? Obviously, there's a seam there that's not ideal, but I'm not, not doing, uh, I'm not doing seam work at this time. I don't, I don't think this edge can be made dark enough to really stand out. Technically visible, but not really. You have to really, really look for it. That's okay. I think I'm about there. something to make that not look quite as consistent across.
Cool. Yes. All right. Obviously, I could spend forever doing this, just touching up more and more and more. But I've basically been been doing that to the point where I would be able to be happy saying, okay, that's enough for now. And I, th I think I'm just about there. There's some, some little things that are imperfect, but I, I have to accept that given that this is my first time. I think this is ready for a, a top coat, a finishing matte top coat. I rubbed some of this off. I'm just holding it. That's my bad. It's not paying attention. Just cradling it. That's okay. Yeah, just being able to touch up little bits like that. Looks like it's been through multiple battles. Yeah, I mean, this is from Double O, so it's all jungle jungle warfare. You look at the key arch, they've got a... Uh, Seventy... Is it a 79G? 79G? With rust spots and big chips on it and stuff. It's all, it's all legit. It all fits. That's one of the reasons that I picked these Gundams. One, I don't care about them that much. So if I messed it up, it's okay. Two, they're cheap and quick to build. Three, they are ground types. It makes sense for them to be dirty. Does Luna Titanium rust? Maybe not, but fittings do. Right, main armor panels might have been made from the fancy stuff, but they cheaped out on uh, on other things. We're talking about mass production units here, right? The reality is mass production, not not as romantic as the hero types. <laughs> Sixteen times six. And hope, hope hope you had a good day. Thank you for that shout out. Get bash. Commission of Double uh, O Diver. Age effects and load a stray omega. Interesting. Are you gonna uh, please tell me you're keeping some of the cage stuff? From the from the diver arc from the astray. What's the Lada Neva of the Gundam world? Probably just a, your plain Jim. Uh, or GM 79. Yeah, really interesting starting points. Putting them together though. I can't I can't see it in my head. So that will definitely be a A fun project and an interesting, just an interesting combo. Skimped on the on the ground gunnams. Yeah. All right. Let's see what this looks like. Gosh, you know, I'm sorry. I, I, my, my. That's a little robo guy. 
Discord is only set up subscriber only at this time. Sorry about that. Yeah. Degree to which I am overloaded by all the things all the time is completely overwhelming. Completely, completely, completely overwhelming. So I, I'm just not able to leave the floodgates completely open. I'm sorry. Amy, thank you for continuing your support. I hope you're doing well. Does this work? No. Does this work? Yeah. Of course, I could also probably do that. Yeah. Yeah, it ain't, it ain't perfect. The more I look at it, the more I see little things that I would like to make better. But... For first try, it's okay. acceptable. And I've got a lot, I've got a lot to learn, a lot to, uh, a lot to try. Got to figure out some of the oil-based and enamel type stuff to allow me to do the First step of this much faster. That's the that's the biggest key. The first step, getting the the shading in there. You just stop. Exactly. Exactly. See me. Exactly. Like the muddy feet. Thank you. That's uh, just two colors. Two colors of of uh, brown with sponge, uh, acrylic, with sp just a little sponge, plus a little bit of touch-up. <laughs> but I, yeah, I really need to... I need, I need to do more stuff with brushes, less with markers. And I, I really rushed on the bottom, the bottom half. The, the legs are, are rushed. The first step of the legs was rushed because I was, I was doing that on stream. I clean his feet before he goes back to white base or his mom's going to be upset when the floor's on. <laughs> Not white base anymore, huh? Brown base now. Oh, uh, you know, I, I'm was not trying to encourage you to spend money on me. You do not need to do that. Just the, the biggest thing is, is I'm, I'm sorry that I have, that I do not have the capability to open myself up to everyone for personal attention. You know, I just, I just, I just don't, unfortunately. Why they called it Gray Phantom? This is chalk, yes, it's chalk. All right. So I got I got all of my all of my runners prepped. Even though it didn't turn out as well as I hoped, it's better than nothing for for starters. I'll need to get more aggressive 
as I build it. But I got those prepped for my dark horn. I got all the transformers assembled. And I'm going to call this done. Because I, cause I have to. White base Pegasus class variant is Gray Phantom. Oh, originally called the Troy Horse. So the decal stickers from the suit always have TH. Huh. Yolo Park? Yeah. This was a whole first part of the stream was building AMK series, which they sent over, and then the new AMK Pro G1. Nice, nice little spread. Cool. I did a bunch of stuff. How did that feel for folks who were here for long enough to have seen all three sections, all three segments? How did that feel to have more things going on rather than, rather than the normal? I feel like, I feel like it's, it's better to have multiple things going on. Thanks, Jang. Throughout. Feels less boring. I feel like I can be happier when there's more to show. But that requires prep. <laughs> that requires going through and you know, having having the ability to go through a bunch of different stuff having multiple projects open Space or made it smaller <laughs> or shorter miniature projects along the way the g1 is good i'll do a video about it but yeah it's it's very good audio is coming through great Thank you. I do appreciate the, the FYI on that. It's extraordinarily annoying that that happens at all. Especially when I just had a just had a reboot and there's absolutely no reason for that sound to ever come through. It's routed completely separate. Thank you for the thank you for the, uh, the heads up. Requires a, a full restart of OBS to fix it. On chats, good chats, yes. They get the G1. It cost it costs fifty bucks, but comes with the stand and a lot of hand detailing on it. And it comes with the appropriate accessories, which the G the Rise of the Beast one did not. Rhinox comes with the accessories for, for the Rise of the Beasts version of, of Optimus. Hey, Andrew, I hope you're doing well. Sorry about the timing, but you came in right, right at the end. I got, I got, I guess to go. I got lots more work to do. So I got to make it. Uh, I got, I got to call it lurking in meetings. All right. Thank you for pulling up the raid message. Let's see if this will allow me to copy and paste today. It did. Hey, that worked for a change. All right, I'm going to push the button. Thank you, everybody, for your support. Thanks for hanging in there. Again, apologies for yesterday, but it was... I, I needed to... I needed to not stream. <laughs> Thank you so much, Shane. Angriest, take care. Uh, stick around for the raid. Always raid with unity, raid with strength. is very, very important. Thanks, Jack. To streamers, not just, not just to me. You see somebody's about to raid out. Don't leave, otherwise it hurts. That 
the at the very last moment hurts all the numbers and things. You stick Thanks, around. Jack. Somebody's raiding out. Stay with them. Helps quite a bit. It's very much appreciated. Thank you all for being oh. here. And I will be back on tomorrow. <laughs> Tuesday. It's tomorrow. I have no idea what I'm gonna be doing. I thought today was Sunday, but it's not. So I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, but we'll see. Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Be well. Be good to one another. Be good to yourselves. Thank you for being good to me. Be very, very good to a more. Ran into more and more tonight. He's doing Lego. But he, he, he knows Gundam. All right, off we go. Look at that. Bunch of people left. <laughs> Take care, everybody. But, like, this.